Listen. Hello and welcome beautiful. Thank you so much for joining me in my third video on how to break free from binge eating. I am so excited to have you here today babe. I've been saving the best till last and in this video we're going to learn how to turn this around and finally break through that binge eating barrier so that you can get amazing results. I'm gonna be sharing some super simple and easy to implement tips and tricks that you can use immediately to change those behaviors. So you can start implementing these straight away. So far in this mini series, we've covered emotional eating triggers, we've covered your hormones and cravings, and now you should have a better understanding of why you get, uh, why you get cravings, why you have emotional eating episodes. But what we really need is to know how to break that pattern of the binge eating cycle. And that's what we're going to do today. If you missed the last two videos, they are still available on my IGTV and on my YouTube channel. So you can just DM me and I'll send you the link for those. So don't worry if you've missed out, just let me know and I'll share those with you. So let's get started. So now you know everything you need to know about why you're binge eating, where it comes from what we're gonna do is find out how to make it stop because it's all right having all that knowledge, but what are we gonna do about it? We need some actionable steps to stop this, right? Well, I've developed a whole course on how to break free from emotional eating, but honestly, it doesn't happen overnight. It's a journey and a process, and it's something that it's different for everyone. It's completely unique, but you need to know that it's not something that's just going to be a quick fix and you're going to resolve it straight away. You do really need to um, build new habits, change your patterns, reframe your thinking, and it takes 66 days to build a habit. So it is something that is going to take time. So I don't want you to beat yourself up if this is not something that you get straight away. But I could be here all day talking about this, but I know you're a busy lady, so I'm going to get straight into it with... I wanted to start you off with three things that I think are very, very important um, in your first steps to changing your patterns. And these are three questions that you can start asking yourself immediately to make changes. So when you catch yourself about to binge or already binging, if you don't manage to catch yourself before, I've got three really important questions that I want you to ask yourself. Question number one is, am I physically hungry? Now, there is a massive difference between physical hunger and emotional hunger, but a lot of the times we don't actually recognize that difference. So before you actually eat, I want you to stop and just take a moment to check in with yourself and think, is this hunger that I'm feeling physical? Am I responding to a rumbling sensation in my stomach or a low energy, dizziness, any genuine signs of hunger? Or is it an emotional hunger? And an emotional hunger can be really urgent and it can feel like physical hunger. But the difference is that it's more of a response to a feeling of overwhelm or stress or anxiety or more um, harder to identify is when you're feeling happy. Like that's a big one that people miss because it's not a negative emotion. They think it's not emotional eating, but a lot of emotional eating is actually when you're in a happy state. So I just want you to, before you're eating, whatever it is you're craving, just really stop and check in with yourself and ask yourself that question. Is this physical or is it emotional? And question number two that I want you to ask yourself is, is this food nutritious or is it simply I'm eating it because it's tasty? Now, the food that we eat should fuel our bodies. Like, yeah, it's important to enjoy your food 100%. Like, I think you absolutely should enjoy what you eat. But you also want to feel good after you've eaten it. And I want you to start thinking about the nutritional benefits that are coming from the food that you're eating. Like, add lots of colourful fruit, lots of veggies, eat lots of lean protein. It doesn't have to be boring it doesn't have to be plain, but it does have to give you some fuel and it, you should always feel better after you've eaten the food than before. So if you're not left feeling good, then you really want to change what you're eating. And question number three, how am I going to feel after I've eaten this? Like immediately the moment after. 
Am I going to feel regret, remorse, guilt, shame? Or am I going to feel like I've satisfied my hunger? There's a big difference. If you're going to feel a negative emotion after you've eaten whatever it is that you're reaching for, you really need to stop and check in with yourself and just see what emotional impact it's going to have. Because a lot of the times we wait until after <laughs> we've eaten the food and we then recognize the emotional impact that it's, that it's had on us. But it is something that we can preempt and, and see from our patterns of how we're going to feel after we've eaten it. So, obviously, this is a much bigger uh, a much bigger journey. It's a much bigger process to stop binge eating. So I don't want you to think that this is just a quick fix that I'm giving you because as much as I would love to just wave a magic wand and solve this for you, it is a journey. It is a process. And please, please don't beat yourself up if you don't get this right first time because it's not something that you can just click your fingers and all of a sudden you don't eat emotionally anymore. It doesn't happen like that. There will be slip ups. There will be setbacks. But every day is a school day, as long as you're learning and you're making progress and you're just becoming more and more aware of your patterns, you can do this, like you can change this. I changed it, you can too. So if this is something that you do feel like you need more help with, I would absolutely love to share my knowledge with you and teach you on how to change this. I'm opening the doors to my um, Break Free From Binge Eating course today. And for a very limited time only, I'm only opening up five spots just because of the level of support that's going to be in this course. I'm only going to keep it to a very small number of people. So if you want to be a part of this, I'm going to open up the link in my bio right now. So head on over there. Doors will literally be open for maybe two days tops. I'm not sure. Um, but once those five spots are gone, then they're gone. So if you've got any questions, please reach out to me, DM me, even if you, it's just a question about something not related to the course, I want to help you in any way that I possibly can. So please reach out, hit me up and let me know what you've thought of this mini series. I really want it to be something useful uh, with actionable steps that you can take away. So I'd love to hear from you. And if you want more information on my course, please, please just message me and let me know because I absolutely love sharing this with people and I love seeing those transformations. Thank you so much for joining me for this mini series. I've absolutely loved it and I will definitely be doing more of these. Have a wonderful weekend.